Hello and welcome to this channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to spray paint your weapon or perhaps your equipment, whatever you may want to do, whether it is to camouflage it or to preserve it. Let me show you how it's done. Now when picking out your spray paint, make sure that it's a flat or a satin color. As you guys can see, I went with a dark green, a brown and a tan color. Uh, I'm trying to camouflage for uh, woods and uh, open fields. So my main base color, I'm gonna go with the tan. Now it's an added bonus because I have uh, spray paint and primer mix. So it's gonna be a little bit more durable. Now typically spray, spray paint finishes like this. Uh, they're not the most durable, but they're field expedient, meaning that you can apply them uh, to your equipment or weapon really quickly and it's very cost effective. These bottles are a couple of dollars, uh, anywhere between two to five dollars depending on what brand and uh, what brand that you buy. This is really super easy. Now if you have time, by all means, go ahead and practice before applying this to the desired item of your choice. So today's project is this ENL AK-105. Of course, this is an airsoft weapon. What I've decided to do is to go ahead and pattern it after the Spetsnaz Alpha Group style AKs. So, and you guys don't necessarily have to do this because I'm gonna be a little bit more detailed. Uh, at this point, uh, you could skip a couple steps and just go ahead and tape up, uh, you know, the barrel, the muzzle. Uh, if you had a real firearm, uh, you know, if you had a scope, go ahead and tape up the lenses, uh, you know, buttons, things that you do not want to spray paint, go ahead and tape those up. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble uh, some of these smaller pieces off so I can have a more detailed paint job. So go ahead and enjoy this time lapse. I'm going to disassemble all of this uh, and get it ready for paint. As you guys can see, this is ready to go. Uh, a final step, if you take some degreaser and just remove all the oils or anything that could ruin the finish. Again, this is not a necessary step, but if you want to have a clean finish, go ahead and degrease uh, the metal. Make sure that it's ready for paint. All right, let's go outside and let's do it. You guys can see I already painted everything twice. This is my base uh, paint, my base uh, coat. A anything I did not want to paint, I either taped up like this or removed it, like my sights for instance. Now we're ready to spray paint uh, and add uh, another color per se to, uh, to complete the camouflage. Uh, if you want to go a simple route, you can just go ahead and you know you can use a stencil or just freehand the, the color schemes on there if you want to. But what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna use some of this net right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and zip tie it so it's really nice and tight around this gun. So then I can kind of give it like a snake skin style pattern. Again, this is not necessary. You can just freehand it, but I want it to look a little bit better. the net like I did make sure that it's nice and tight against the body of the equipment or gun that you're trying to cover because if this is a little bit too far away 
then the result is a little bit diluted and spread out making it look unprofessional but as you guys can see I have everything pretty much tight I'm not too worried about painting the, the underneath uh, part of the, the weapon as I am painting the sides and top because that's my only focus right now as you guys can see it's rather uh, naturally checkered and it looks good so I'm ready to paint another thing that you guys can use uh, is a piece of cardboard and you can cut out different shapes uh, and, and use different angles on whatever you're doing to kind of limit that excess spray paint from hitting the rest of it so you can have nice clean uh, prints of paint whatever you guys want to do all right let's uh, let's take our time and let's not rush this I'm gonna try to connect the sides and the top uh, so there's one continuous pattern going up and over so I'm gonna take my time One of the nice things is if you have a small piece like this, you can use some touch-ups. For instance, on the bottom, since I had all the net bunched up, uh, I couldn't reach it during the initial spray. So I went with this small one and I did a touch-up on the very bottom. As you guys can see, that was fairly simple. Uh, there's really not that much to it. Uh, just a couple of basic steps. Uh, you know, Basically, if you apply a base coat, wait for that to dry and then you add your, your camo per se on top of it, you'll be fine. Now notice that whenever I was applying the, the snake skin type uh, effect to it, notice that all of my major parts, uh, not counting the black uh, colored parts, I had everything together and that's what you need so all these parts have a uh, togetherness uh, look. If you spray paint these things separately and then you try to put it on, all of your camo would be really weird. Uh, and I kind of wanted everything to be together. That's why I had everything assembled together. Now, just keep in mind, guys, uh, your paint job doesn't have to stay this way. According to the season or location that you go to, what scenario you have, you can adjust and, you know, spray paint, you know, add colors, uh, you know, completely redo it, do something else. Uh, to your scenario. This is not a permanent paint job and I don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on a permanent paint job and I'm gonna feel bad about if I bang up or scratch. So yeah guys, uh, spray paint is awesome uh, and you know if you, if you have a really expensive item uh, I suggest you you know experiment practice on something else before you do something really expensive. Uh, there, there is ways to get it back to the original finish but it takes a lot of time uh, and it's much easier to practice before you do something like this. So I hope you guys like this kind of video. Hopefully it's taught you something. Um, go ahead and co comment down below if you guys have any kind of questions. I'll try to answer them the best I can. And if you guys can, go ahead and like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. Uh, on Instagram, my name is uh, KGB Survivalist. Uh, so go ahead and try to find that. Uh, I try to post up pictures of my future upcoming videos, things I'm doing, 
So if you guys want to follow me and kind of see what I'm about, what I'm doing, go ahead, check that out. And as always, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Пока, пока.